The American reality television series My 600 Pound Life focuses on providing medical insight, awareness, and often treatment regarding the U.S.'s growing problem, obesity. The series documents the journey of numerous patients as they seek surgical aid on their weight loss journey, sharing their emotional stories with the camera. Airing on TLC Network, My 600 Pound Life is hosted by Houston-based doctor and surgeon Yunin Nauzaradin, known mononymously as Dr. Now, who is also known for sometimes providing surgery to patients who do not qualify, albeit in kindness toward those who really need surgery, but with attendant risks. Of course, Dr. Now earned appreciation among viewers for his strict approach toward his patients, as he requires that they lose an amount of weight before he performs the bariatric surgery by placing his patients on a strict diet and exercise plan to confirm their serious intent, and so also meeting weight restrictions. With obesity affecting nearly half of the American population, there are no doubt many viewers who can relate. And judging by My 600 Pound Life's popularity, this series has provided ample entertainment and perhaps encouragement. The first season, filmed over a period of seven years, aired in January of 2012, and was a smashing success that created a demand for additional seasons, which would be filmed over shorter periods. Now in its 11th season, with several spin-offs also airing, My 600 Pound Life has proven its worth on reality television and seems to remain popular with TLC audiences. With so many patients coming in and out of Dr. Now's surgery, regular viewers have no doubt met many faces on the show, some of whom they liked and others they disapproved of. As over the course of its time on air, the series created many stars. Unfortunately, some of the patients featured on My 600 Pound Life don't succeed in their journey, and the show has also lost many former stars, a few during, but most after, the procedure. Obesity is a serious affliction that requires medical attention. The perspective the series wants to clarify for its audience, and the deaths of late patients act as proof of the risks associated with obesity. Though sad as it is, My 600 Pound Life's viewers have possibly grown used to hearing the news about another patient who passed away. Kalisa McMillan became one such patient when she passed away in 2020 following her appearance on the show. However, it seemed that TLC aired McMillan's story providing a deceiving narrative that Kalisa's remaining family pointed out on social media. With odd circumstances surrounding McMillan's passing, viewers and fans of My 600 Pound Life no doubt have plenty of questions, but as can be expected, TLC remained silent about Kalisa, offering only their condolences to the McMillan family. Considering that there are many people interested in knowing the truth about the mysterious circumstances surrounding Kalisa's passing, it seems only fitting that we seek out whatever answers are to be found. In our search, we will briefly revisit Kalisa's appearance on My 600 Pound Life and give an account of what is known about her life. Following this, we'll take a look at what happened to Kalisa, specifically clearing up the details about her death, including into how she actually died, before addressing the misleading feature TLC published about McMillan. Kalisa McMillan appeared in the eighth season of My 600 Pound Life, aired in 2020, at the age of 41 already facing numerous health issues related to her obesity. Kalisa shared her tragic story with Dr. Now's audience, telling of how she suffered a heart attack at the age of 39, two years before appearing on the show. Unfortunately, McMillan's heavy weight prevented her from undergoing surgery, and her heart was never properly fixed. Sadly, following Kalisa's health scare, her fiance, known only as Melvin, passed away in a car accident. The tragic event leading McMillan to seek the comforts of food, subsequently ignoring her declining health. As McMillan admitted on the show, she eventually became confined to her bed and incapable of normal everyday tasks. However, she was still a mother, and for the sake of her family, when the opportunity came, McMillan accepted an invitation to appear on My 600 Pound Life. Hoping to lose weight and perhaps seeking to tend to her other health problems, Kalisa's brave journey aired on TLC Network as she began losing weight in preparation for bariatric surgery. Unfortunately, following Kalisa's passing, 
TLC has since pulled her episode from My 600 Pound Life's archive, so it's no longer watchable. Viewers who happen to have seen Kalisa's episode would remember her brave journey as she met with Dr. Now. However, as Dr. Now is known, he insisted on operating as soon as possible, suggesting that Macmillan's underlying heart problems could lead to serious consequences, were he not to operate immediately. Sadly, Kalisa's surgery did not go as intended, and although Dr. Now successfully performed the bariatric surgery, Kalisa suffered complications afterwards that would cost her her life. According to Wikipedia, Kalisa died of kidney failure and other effects related to the weight loss surgery she received, dating her death on September 22, 2020. However, conflicting reports suggest that Kalisa passed away in 2022. According to in-depth reports by the gossip publication Starcasm, Macmillan's condition quickly worsened following her operation, as a suture from the surgery ruptured. Subsequently, Kalisa was hospitalized for a month but while remaining in medical care, Macmillan developed sepsis and was in need of more urgent surgical care. It was reported that Kalisa passed away while doctors were working on helping her, though a closer look revealed that Hannah, Macmillan's daughter, stated several weeks later that she survived. According to Hannah, Kalisa's condition was improving, but in August of 2022, Kalisa was readmitted to the hospital and passed away a month later. Starcasm also reported that conflicting reports exist about Kalisa's exact cause of death and took to further inquiry. According to the gossip publications, the documented cause of death seemed inaccurate, especially following consultation with Macmillan's niece, Blair Shelton. Shelton is a practicing nurse and presumably stated on social media that Kalisa's gastric sleeve surgery was simply too much for the late reality star. Shelton shared some details in a lengthy statement in which she accuses TLC of not following the correct timeline in the portrayal of Kalisa's episode. According to Blair, McMillan did not fully recover from surgery and spent two months on a ventilator in a local Houston hospital. Shelton explained that Kalisa was partially paralyzed and confined to a hospital bed, which caused her to develop bed sores and a urinary tract infection, along with septic wounds from the surgery. Shelton also explained that Kalisa was afraid of going to the doctor, hoping to protect her daughter and unborn grandchild from the COVID-19 pandemic. Unfortunately, Kalisa's condition worsened when her kidneys began failing, resulting in Macmillan being rushed to the emergency room and placed on antibiotics. But sadly, it was ineffective, and a week after being hospitalized, Kalisa passed away. Despite the conflicting reports and the accusations of Macmillan's family, TLC has remained silent about Kalisa's death. Dr. Now has faced scrutiny before about his potential unethical medical practices. Though of course, Dr. Now, the network, and the team behind My 600 Pound Life have not taken any responsibility in the matter. Dr. Now and the show's producers faced legal charges in 2022, filed against them by a collective of representatives, mostly made up of family members and previous patients. However, the case was dismissed in the appellate court of Texas, and so far, neither the doctor nor the show has faced any serious consequences. The impression is that the surgery was undertaken as a last resort, that otherwise the patient would have died anyway. Obesity is not a small matter, and as can be seen on My 600 Pound Life, the health risks can clearly be fatal, often from related health problems. While no one has taken any certain responsibility for Kalisa's death, her story and her life became one element of proof that America is facing a medical catastrophe. The circumstances surrounding Macmillan's passing certainly seem to point fault at both the complications of obesity and perhaps the immoral practices of reality television. But Kalisa will certainly be missed and always remembered by her friends, family, and the viewers familiar with her journey. To learn more about the American health struggle, My 600 Pound Life, among numerous other titles, provides everything there is to know in documented details. Feel free to catch the latest episodes of My 600 Pound Life or any of its spinoffs. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on social media or ask a question in the comments below.
Thank you for being with us, and we'll see you back tomorrow.